I'm Tia Borden with Mining IR, and I am sitting with Ali, AI program leader at Valet. Ali, you are. This is going to be a different type of interview than what we've been doing here at this <laughs> conference. You have a unique role in the mining world and industry. Can you tell us what you do? Hmm. Excellent. So yeah, I know that the talking about advanced analytics or AI maybe it's a new topic in the traditional industry, same as mining. But when we talk about the future of mining or mining in future, we definitely need to use the new tools and we need to change the culture of mining right now. So based on this reason, Valley decided to establish a specific center named AI Center about six years ago to think about how they can develop advanced analytics and AI application through the mine value chain. And uh, now I'm leading a couple of projects through the mine value chain from exploration to marketing. So excited about the future of mining. Congratulations, that is exciting. <laughs> Tell us about the future of mining. How do you see, how do you see this changing things? Uh, we know that the, the resources is going deeply and deeply and we need to dive to the ocean of the data every day to find which type of mining technology or which type of uh, mining techniques can help us to have access to the better material with the lowest cost, etc. So, advanced analytics and uh, playing with the data can help us to shape the future of mining. The, the future mining is about prediction, optimization and making intelligent decision. Because right now, we are in the uh, sense and respond area. We need to move to the predict and act instead of just sitting here and okay, what's happening? Hoping for the best. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we can, we can prepare ourselves, okay? Mm -hmm. About uh, based on something that right now we have access and prepare everything for the future, for the future mining and optimizing the, the processes. And especially when we talk about uh, mining, we just don't focus on the productivity because Traditionally, we, we think about improving the, you know, for example, the revenue, improving the productivity as the aim of mining. But in the future, it's not an aim. Our aim should be uh, protect environments, protect people, or something like that. Improve energy efficiency, and if, and the advanced analytics can help us to shape this future of mine. Ali, how does advanced analytics differ from normal <laughs> analytics? Normal analytics, you know, focus on some mathematical methods uh, to investigate about some events that is happening right now or in the ha or happen in the future. Same as the normal regression model or something like that. But when you talk about advanced analytics, it means that we are using the historical data, the huge historical data, to clarify the patterns between variables. And by clarifying these patterns, we can predict something in the future. And we can uh, uh, have optimization methods or uh, making, making intelligent decision systems. But normal analytics potentially cannot give us this opportunity to predict in something in the future. And the main tools that we are using in advanced analytics is machine learning and artificial intelligence. Now, what opportunities and challenges do you predict for, for this, for the advanced yeah. analytics? And That's a good question. I'd really like to start from challenges first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the big challenge that we are facing with them right now is the lack of data, lack, lack of accurate data. So mining industry, uh, have, you know, hasn't uh, invested in this area and now we have a lot of technology developers providing different uh, hard sensors to collect some uh, pressure, temperature, etc. from the equipment uh, components. But we are facing with the noisy data, we are facing with the huge bias, we are facing with the lack of the data for some specific area. So data is a big challenge. And the second one is computing. We don't have access right now with the, the very fast computing system 
uh, to compute the data and uh, uh, you know uh, calculate the, the something that we, we are looking for. There. And the third one that I think is important is lack of trust. In mining, the management cannot trust the, the AI or advanced analytics approaches and the problem. And uh, the last one, but not the least, is about the people. Uh, AI and using advanced analytics is a culture. We don't talk about just the application or data or softwares or something like that. We need to prepare people to use or to digest this new technology. We need a lot of pr uh, training programs, etc., to help people to use this application and be friends with this application. So this is one type, uh, a couple of challenges that we are facing with that. But in other side, opportunities, it's fantastic. AI can help us to reduce injuries. It can help us to reduce the number of the people working in the dangerous areas. It can help us to improve energy efficiency, reduce carbon, and etc. Ali, how do you see advanced analytics changing the future? I believe that we are facing with the big challenge in the future is the lack of the uh, enough uh, mine ores to extract. And uh, advanced analytics can help us to have a better exploration and also uh, having you know the better operation and selling better and can we can uh, this is an exciting point for me. We can predict market and predicting the market can help us to shape uh, or uh, mine sites and re re uh, review our plans for mining. So future mining, it's not just about increasing the productivity and then selling the mine products. It's about listen to the customer and mine based on the demand. And this is the future of mining. We don't like to mine everything. We are mining, we will mine just based on the customer demand. Amazing. Ali, thank you so much. Wonderful information, and I really appreciate you chatting with me today. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. Thank, thank you. you. Have a great day. You too, thanks.